welcome back to UKSG Blue 2023. This event, we are raising money for Crisis. You can donate with the links below the stream. We'd also like to shout out ESA and BSG for their continued support. But now, it is time for Darkest Dungeon 2 with Trichro. Take it away. Hello. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, welcome, this is Darkest Dungeon 2. This is the sequel to Darkest Dungeon 1. Today, we'll be doing the category... Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> the denial percent. I was worried it wouldn't show up. Alas, we are ready to go. Don't worry, time's not going yet. Uh, not gonna worry anyone. You just have to select the category. Time will start once we've actually selected our characters. As opposed to Darkest Dungeon 1, where you're given a set four characters at the very beginning, and you can potentially pick up more later on. In this version, you choose which of the four characters you want to take throughout your journey throughout the five chapters, and um, see what you can do with that. It's very much, uh, each one is a singular journey of which you're meant to fail several times. Here is the crossroad. So, tonight we'll be taking the Highwayman, the Hellion, the Occultist, and the Plague Doctor. Uh, we'll be using various mechanics like um, uh, choosing the Alchemist for the um, Plague Doctor, the Warlock, um, the uh, Occultist, the Ravenger for the Hellion, and also uh, the Rogue for the Highwayman, just to optimize the maximum damage possible. Anyway, I'm pretty much ready to go, so I'll start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Woo! Yeah! Slap Yay! So, Darkest Dungeon. So, we're traveling throughout the valley in our first playthrough, in our first beginning. We'll be, I'll be constantly looking at this map along the side. This is a Slay the Spire, Faster Than Light, uh, various other games that have this node-based travel system, uh, where we go throughout to various different nodes and have to um, optimize the best path. I will try to maximize the least encounters. All right, so we've got pretty bad luck for the first uh, first fight. So this fight is relatively random, what you can have appear here, okay. Uh, this is quite a large enemy to deal with. This could be as simple as like two smaller enemies, or <laughs> like it is in this current situation, two, uh, three quite large enemies to deal with. Luckily, we're kitted out, and this is the first mission, so <laughs> they don't deal a lot of damage to us. Okay, so like the first game, this is a turn-based game uh, where all four of us, uh, all four of us, are taking turns against all one to four of them. Unlike the first game, uh, enemies do have death low resistance on some characters. Like the larger character there had death low resistance, um, which death blow, <laughs> death store. What's death store? Uh, I'm just checking. Okay, oh, they've got a lazy eye now. Okay, I'll just have to change that soon. Um, on this game, getting to zero health isn't the end. Um, you'll be put onto death's door, and every single blow since then, let me just do the various upgrades that I've got to do. Um, uh, Abyssal artillery. And play grenade. Great. Cool. Just check there's anything good. We want can. that. We want the dog. The, no the orphan wolf meaning. cub. Anything here that if is actively nice. I think I'll actually take that. Um, and I'll take that for later. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Um, Listen. In the Wayne right, Practice. we'll equip that item. Improve. Equip that pet. Put it to the actual right slot. Equip the flame. Cool. We're heading to ah With yes yeah sure we'll conviction. increase that up that one that one that one that one uh let's not do that <laughs> yeah sure that's good enough another nameless city so this was the tavern another where we prepare for our next journey there'll be a few journeys that we go through before we are able to fight the final boss of this chapter back to death low resistance uh zero health isn't the end every time you get hit when on zero you have a percentage chance Behold. that you will die okay let's head right to start out with okay obliterate uh, loathing and so this cross uh, crossed swords is a resistance encounter this is a potential fight there is a chance that we don't do the fight however every time you complete a fight it will decrease loathing if this i've got four levels of loathing 
So let's see if we have to do it. We do have to do it, alas. Um, the positive to doing fights is that it will decrease the loathing. If loathing ever gets to four, the max health of the final enemy will increase. So that's not something we want. Um, luckily, um, our party is well suited to deal with most scenarios here. Cool, cool. We'll do that there. Cool. This is not quite turning out to be a one-turner, but it'll probably be two rounds. So, of course, every enemy should have... Yeah, okay, unfortunately the dodge. Um, at least one turn during the round. Some special enemies get more than one turn, but it doesn't always... Ah, actually, we can't reach. So, my Hyrule said the beginning slot. That means he couldn't actually reach the enemy that was in the back row. Um, hence, it's important to be careful of what position you're in, because it can matter. Cool. We've gone through that fight. The reason why I, had, I went right instead of left is because I had options to go over here. Oh, actually, I could go... I, I am actually getting forward, though. Hopefully this isn't a battle. Cool. The upgrade I got gave me increased wheel toughness. Uh, and these uh, nodes here will decrease my wheels. So luckily, I have more hits before I go to zero. If I'm ever on zero wheels and I have to suffer wheel an, a wheel attack, <laughs> uh, I have to do a mini fight. So that's what I'm trying to avoid, basically. Uh, da, da, uh, yeah, let's actually, no, do this. Correct decisions. Various of my party members will want to do various things. Ah, uh, this is all right. Oh, okay, that's slightly more annoying. Well, we'll get to there when we get to it. Good thing we actually did that beginning fight then. Um, I'm, I have to analyze the map and make sure we go. So, death blow resistance. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you have a chance to survive. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Mm, let's just get some food along the way. Perfect, perfect. Turn-based combat, yes. Except this time, in the co uh, turn-based combat, we have the uh, turn order at the top right. That is different. You can now see who is coming up and who is uh, still yet to go. Cool. Um, actually, let's give you the trinket for that. So you will now go basically first every fight now. Let's see what we got going here. That's not useful. Let's just do this. Light is important. If we get to lower light levels, uh, enemies will get advantages. If we stay at high light levels, we will get advantages. Uh, so we do want to try to stay at higher light if possible. Not always possible, but that's fine. So while traveling along, we do have access to everything equipped. So we do want to micromanage all the things we're wanting to do <laughs> along with um, traveling to make most use of our time. They'll Nash. Okay. Another big difference, um, ah, fine, in this one, is that uh, tags exist. So rather than having a 75% chance to hit by base, we now always have a 100% chance to hit. However, however, um, there is a chance um, that you'll get a, I don't know, blindness tag. And that will decrease your chance to hit by 50%. <laughs> quite a lot. Um, additionally, you can get um, the dodge chance, which will increase your chance they miss you by 50%, and that can stack to 25% and increase uh, their forwards for onwards. There are also other effects like weaken, shield, combo, fanatic, like there, there's a whole, uh, I think it's, I don't remember the button. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole list of uh, tokens that we can uh, gain throughout the game. Not a lot will be useful to us. Okay, so next up, we'll actually have to go through this. Okay, yep, none of this actually matters, so let's just do, yeah, uh, that one. An unexpected Sometimes time. it is better to make a decision quickly rather than a slow decision, uh, a good decision slowly. Um, so, Unfortunately, this tile here, it gave me loathing. This will increase my loathing. Um, but luckily, we did enough fights earlier, so we could take it. Uh, we've only got this one fight, which is a creature den. Unfortunately, creature den fights are a pain in the butt. Um, uh, 
Now that could be useful. That could also be useful. Okay, let's enter the... Ooh, can we not? Ooh, we can not. Perfect. <laughs> so there's a pretty high chance that we will have to have done that creature den. Luckily, in this specific scenario, we managed to avoid it. So this was pretty lucky. We have finished the first um, journey <laughs> throughout this. All right. We do have to deal with the um, Oblivion Rampants. There is no avoiding this, though. So we'll have to fight some Eldritch foes, which is basically like the ending mini boss, like high, uh, high stress encounter at the end of every uh, fight. So, my uh, my team can party. Basically, the front two of my guys deal with the front two enemies, and the back two deal with the back two. Um, very, very <laughs> easily clear. There are also combat items which you can equip. I got one random one. Uh, the combat item that I equipped, actually, uh, uh, the item removes a, a tag of blindness, which is very useful. Meaning that that big, big attack I did to the back row there actually hit for, um, <laughs> definitely hit rather than having a 50% chance. Okay. We eliminated these two. These two will die. Actually, no, you'll survive on one health, unfortunately. And unfortunately, you have stealth. Uh, that's fine. Let's just do this in the meantime. Magnesium rain. Okay. Okay, it didn't actually do anything. Ouch! But that's fine. <laughs> uh, this is fine. Uh, let's do that. Ooh, nice crit. That's very good. Um, let's kill that off. By kill that off, I mean get through the block. Cool. Point black short. You're on zero health. Hopefully we'll eliminate you on the next turn. Done. And you'll do you <laughs> don't know about this, but you're already dead. Uh... <laughs> All right, that's that done with. And we get the next inn, which is the next midpoint throughout our journey. We'll be going through a few inns until we fight the final boss of this chapter. Lovely. And what inn will it be? Okay, while I'm doing this, let's make sure any trinkets that we equip, or at least equip that one, we obtained a cultist trinket, which is a aside. Basically, there are the cultist trinkets. I will be busy, <laughs> so I'm going to do this. Cool, we got that. Wainwright, equip that. Upgrade this. Cool, we got the Wainwright, which is very good at increasing our cart. Well, heck yeah, flapjacks. Okay, now I really want to know if anyone likes flapjacks, because I certainly do. Um, woo. Anyway. Yay, Flapjack! <laughs> cool. Um, let's equip Flapjacks, and can I afford and anything else? Can. I can. Let's do no that. Actually, the one just to the if right of it would have been better. Alas. Um, praise the light. All Blood good. And and resignation and death. Let's, uh, in items, feed these things. Yep, and yeah, sure, we can have that. Let's give this to... Nah, let's not bother with any of the other ones. Let's, let's just get going. Let's just... Oh! <laughs> we had a pop-up that stayed on. Okay! Yay! Two people are respectful of each other. So, there is the system of afflictions and <laughs> uh, in this game as well. Luckily, they're... They're more related to each other. So each character, actually, let's have a look at the map first before I start randomly talking. Um, yeah, sure, let's go right and see how that goes. Cool, that's good. So each character has a relationship to each other. Uh, if the relationship is a particular, is high, it can increase the positive relation chance, which can give a buffs, which is pretty good. Okay, let's add that, that's good. Um, so that means whenever one of the two characters uses a specific sort of move, it'll actually give a buff to the other character, which can be useful, but a lot of the time, it's not attached to a character that actually matters. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, that's actually neat. Do I have anything? No, that's fine. 
Okay, let's let's deal with this fight. Luckily, they they probably won't put up much of an effort. And kill? Okay, I missed the damage range. Luckily, yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. We actually do want to go to a field hospital at some point to clear away some of clear away some of our bad traits. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, while I take a minute to just uh, not talk, would you like to have host read some stuff if you wish? Thank you very much, Tricrow. We had a $13.33 donation from YTP Renewed. They said, what I liked about that Robocop game, the music. What I disliked about that Robocop game, the less than ideal punctuation in some of the on-screen messages. <laughs> and that one went to the stagecoach name uh, for this run of Crimson oh, yeah. Egg. I actually, um, yeah, I should, I should do that. <laughs> I was going to ask where you wanted it, but I assumed you would have yeah, prompted. No, I, I, I just got completely into it. I'll do that now. Uh, g give me the name and I'll, uh, I'll do that. Well, I'm pleased to tell you that uh, that donation actually did put it in favour of Crimson Egg. Okay. Two words. In cool. I will try to spell... Yeah, I know how to spell Crimson, I believe. C-R-I-M-S-O-N. Egg. Beautiful. There you go. Welcome to the Crimson Egg. It has iron branded wheels, a bottle case, a griddle, and a uh, leaf suspension. Woo! -hoo. We're bouncing. I'm so anyway. tempted to make you reset and start again. With I mean, do you want me to? Uh, <laughs> It'll put us back on schedule. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Um, yeah, uh, armor, please. Thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, and actually, if you did make me straight reset, I would have to edit the save files to make sure <laughs> make it make that so. Um. Seems like a worthy punishment. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to do it all with, like, actively negative debuffs. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Not that good. I mean, I'll just chill out for a bit. How's, how's everyone else doing? Yeah, we're pretty good. It seems like. Oh, so I got one more donation if we got some Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm just relaxing. Awesome. Well, Tombo D99 donates $20 and says, How can we not pet the cat? Pet the cat. That one has obviously gone to the Coleco incentive to pet the kitties. And checking on that one, we are $22.31 away from meeting that incentive. So again, please do keep your donations coming in. And just to let you know, we've opened a new incentive. It is for my Boss Rush Shuffler run that's going to be closing the marathon. If we reach $200, we'll upgrade the category from a four boss count to eight boss count, which means I'm going to have to take on eight of, bo eight of the bosses at the same time. So a new incentive for Ooh. you to meet, everyone. Again, please get your donations in. Links to donate can be found below the stream. Cool. So I've, I decided to do this little fight here just because I felt like we were too far ahead and uh, I felt like I should uh, take some time to get back on schedule. Uh, <laughs> no worries, no worries. No, it will help me later on, uh, eventually. Um, just because it will decrease my loathing and it gives a better chance that the bosses won't be on, like, increased health and, you yeah, know. But, yeah, like, look at this big boy. He's, he's beefy. I also found out uh, something very cool, which you'll find out later. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, but we're just uh, mowing our way through these enemies here. They're unfortunately going to do a very strong attack if they get to their next turn. Luckily, they're already dead. Uh, we, we basically have this drum man. He, he's like hammering away. He's, he's just enjoying himself. Um, but he, the issue with him is he just makes all of everyone else's attacks a lot stronger. Alright, fighting blade. Cool. And we have this to kill it off. Nope, he survived. We'll try once again. Slay the wounded. Yeah, luckily the voice actor for the first game, Wade Jude, did come back for the second. Uh, he is still around. I'm making lovely commentary throughout the whole time. Okay, finish that fight. Wealth is worthless without purpose. Oh, juicy. So I found out you can actually pet the dog. And he makes a little noise. Aww. Aww. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's, oh, no, let's give ourselves some good items to... Uh, in the meantime. Yeah, I'll save that for later. 
Uh, ooh, we just got some pancakes. Great. Flapjacks. Yeah, I, I did say flapjacks earlier. Um, yeah, sure. Let's let's do that. There's no good outcomes for them. We're chilling. We're chilling. Okay, we've got that there, that there, and a. Ooh, this is actually new. This is from the most recent update. And I admit, I actually have no idea what it does. So we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, an update's happened since I um, last uh, played. We do have to do this fight, unfortunately, since we are at max loathing. This should, in, uh, in fact, increase our light back up to max. Um, <laughs> and also uh, decrease the loathing, hopefully. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've got various tags applying to ourselves, like 50% extra strength, speed, uh, and block. Ravenger, the ability that he uh, Hellion, the Hellion decided to take, basically uh, means that while they're in the first slot, they take uh, they deal extra damage. They do have slightly decreased health, but that's fine. We we <laughs> that's fine. Let's um, make them slightly blind. They have got a tag which basically says definitely crit next turn. However, um, they've got a 50% chance to miss that crit, so <laughs> I, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, okay, they're on Death Star at least, so they're <laughs> definitely not doing too well. But that last hit should eliminate the back two from the fight. And then these two are on basically nothing. Um, let's stab that away. Cool. Ooh. And repost. Beautiful. One of the abilities that we've got the uh, highwaymen <laughs> doing for ourselves uh, adds repost to our uh, status. Repost is when we get hit, we hit them back. Yeah, action economy. It's very useful. <laughs> okay, so we can do left or right here. What way should we go? Yeah, left. Woo. Oh no, a fight. No. Okay, and it's actually a pretty d bad fight as well. Ah, well. Yay! Estimate! Woo! I'm aiming to be 43 seconds over estimate. No. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I'll see, I'll see how well I can make that happen. I'm also aiming to be one minute o under world records, so... <laughs> That's not happening. I've got five minutes for that. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I'll speed up. Uh, activate speed hacks. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the gruesome reflection. So not only do we have physical health in this game, we also have uh, stress. We have mental damage as well. Um, if we take too much mental damage, we can have a meltdown. And you know, it's it's not good to have a meltdown. Uh, it's okay to do so. Sometimes you do need to let it out, and that's okay. Uh, it's always good to have someone you can talk to. We're no longer supporting Mind, but it's still a good charity to support. Great, here is a uh, here is a hero shrine. We're act we actually still see them since we've manipulated the RNG. So Dismas here hasn't actually unlocked all of his skills yet, um, and because he hasn't unlocked all of his skills. Um, we still see hero shrines. If hero shri um, if we had all of our skills unlocked for all four of our characters, hero shrines would no longer appear. Luckily, for hero shrines, we can just choose a different character and they'll disappear. Anyway, let's see what this is. Fight, fight, or fight. Okay, we'll get a fight with a bonus. Let's see how bad this fight is. Oh, that seems easy. But that doesn't look good. <laughs> anyway, um, let's work on killing it. <laughs> Gosh, what is happening to that dude? Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do that. At least put it onto Death's Door. Should kill that one off. Ooh, 47. It's unfortunate the two weak people were in the back row, so we had to do what we had to do. Okay, you die, and anything funky happen? That is a, yeah, I, I don't think anything funky happened with that. I'm not actually entirely sure. It looks like there will be two waves to the fight though. According to the top left here. New content! <laughs> uh, alas. Okay. 
dealing more damage. Unfortunately, we're slightly winded. So one of our main moves, uh, Howl, Howl's End, uh, gives us a status debuff. Luckily, <laughs> there's the nuke. Um, luckily, it resets after every fight, so we don't have to worry about the status debuff. Okay, let's see what the second... Okay, so this is the Churjin, probably, then. Luckily, we're going to start dealing damage to it. And we blighted it. It's got 90 health. Ah, okay, that's a that's a pretty buff uh, thing to deal with. Uh, ah, well, we should be fine. Let's uh, give it some debuffs as well. Try to get you out of... Yeah, you'll die. So what do you do? Okay, you heal and buff. Okay, you're a support. Got it. Uh, <laughs> let's do that. Multiple things per turn. Ow, that hurts, but take damage back. Cool. Yep, that's fine. Keep dealing damage to the back row. And just starting to heal as well. That's fine. That's fine. We can start dragging you to the front, seeing if being in the front ranks will screw up your turn order. Um, and also, let's heal a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to do, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Just to add some more damage over time things to it. I should probably kill the other members of the uh, members of the group. However, ah, I'll be fine. I, I just do want to get this one down and out. Okay, cool. What are you going to do this? The heal again, the critting again. That's fine. Um, we're just going to give this increase its speed for the next round. Two point blank shot, work on actually removing it from my life. All right, I see the donation count is a little bit higher, so let's let's see what that is. If that's okay, Huds. Absolutely, thank you very much, Tricro. We have a twenty-two dollar and thirty-one cent donation from our very own Calliope, who says there should always be time to pet the cat, and that means that our incentive for Calico to pet the kitties has been met. Hey! Which means, chat, your next incentive now is for the Boss Rush Shuffler to upgrade us from four bosses to eight bosses at the same time. You've got plenty of time to meet that one, but don't delay. Get your donations in now and make sure you're putting them towards the incentive mm. when you do. I see. Oh, no, they got dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> what a follow-up. Yep. Uh, don't worry, we just cured them. Well, not of dysentery, just of their bleeding. Um... <laughs> Okay, I should be able to do that. That might make you have a meltdown. Let's see if we have a meltdown. Yeah, we do. Oh, no. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, they've got Shattered Will as well. That's fine. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Increase their health a little bit. Okay, what's what's up? What's up? Healing that. Increase that. They're on 13 health. Not actually got too much health left. They're eventually taking some damage since stealth is a thing. Let's actually give you stealth, so you don't take any more damage since you've been taking a beating. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do this. Good idea. Okay, Howling End should be in effect. Puts you onto Death's Door. Lovely. You are taking slightly more damage than you are. Yeah, okay. That should be fine. That should be fine. You'll deal some damage. You'll deal some damage to this, and this will kill you. <laughs> uh, and maybe, okay, cool. You'll just we'll kill that one too. Okay, so that's a bit a bit of a longer fight that we had to deal with there, but we got through it. And we got some items. It seems we'll see what uh, I'll see if how I can make that useful to me. Um, cool. Uh, but the uh, nah, that's not actually that useful. Ah well, big trinket. Yeah, that's all right. Let's just put a few. No. More fights! Woo! <laughs> yeah, we're having a little bit of an unfortunate uh, time, but don't worry, that's great for estimate. Uh, <laughs> great for schedule, I should say. Hey! Uh, we're five. A breakthrough. All we need now is just the game to crash, really. I mean, what? <laughs> Restoring shot, great. Um, elite enemies, yeah. Yeah! You'll die on your own turn. Actually, that's fine though, since. Yeah, we'll do that. You're taking a little bit of a beating, but that's fine. We'll do this. Since that character was being guarded, so that means I could effectively do that. Yeah, let's. 
Okay, I missed. Nash. You'll deal damage. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough to kill you. But there seems like they're spreading out the damage quite easily. So that's very useful for me. Unfortunately, we'll be doing another, like, quite strong fight after this. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, it'll be fine. Uh, let's actually, let's let's heal a little bit. Let's, let's take the time. We've, I got a minute. Uh, take an extra turn to heal and de-stress a second. Take some of that. Okay, let's try to see. Since there was a hallway fight between that and the final thing. Okay, so let's actually... Ooh! Ah! <laughs> uh, let's give that as well. And we'll save that for the end. I have a chainsaw now. Anyway. Uh, it's actually worse than my gun. <laughs> As chainsaw usually are. Typically. Ah, cool. That worked out for us. Ultra of Denial. Cool. They get buffed to lunch. That's all fine. Let's add my combat stimulant and kill it. Lovely. Luckily, it dropped a corpse as well. So, sometimes when, when you kill an enemy, they will pretty much always drop a corpse. Uh, that means they're basically uh, remaining in the right order for themselves. Oh no, I feel the weight of the world. Um, Shoutouts to Nier. I'm actually going to the uh, Nier concert in London um, next February on Valentine's Day. So, uh, that should be fun. Anyway, let's do that. This fight is basically dealt with. <laughs> Unofficial Trichro meetup. <laughs> Sacrificial stab, and it's dead. Cool, we beat it, and now we're on to the next end. We got 10 minutes left, and we're fine. Um, well, time to exit the game. And uh, let's not exit to the desktop, just to the menu. And let's try going back in there. So for some reason there, the, the menu glitched. So rather than kill this person on this turn, I'm actually going to just move places and have you die on your own turn to change the RNG. So hopefully, yeah, cool, I'll actually get items this time. <laughs> ah, glitches. Unfortunately, I'm full, gosh. Um, oh no, I actually got rid of one uh, flapjack. Uh oh. Okay, let's uh, equip that. Ooh, interesting. No, no, don't do it. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, sure, let's just get the, uh, that as well. Unfortunately, that's fine. So next, we'll be able to feed them lots of flapjacks. Mmm, flapjack. Okay, so we actually did a lot of fights that, <laughs> I mean, uh, for that game. So we have lots of upgrades that we can do. Uh, interestingly enough, I did that upgrade. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, that is good, uh, that is all good, and we'll upgrade that one for fun. We like fun, don't we? Uh, we hate fun! <laughs> cool. All had flapjacks, no food, ignore what I'm just giving to them. Um, provisioners, t give me your finest goods. That's really good, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's see if we could do that. Um, yep, that's good as well. Get some more of that. Cool. Let's uh, give these items in. Then try to get rid of you. I got rid of your stiff knees. Got rid of that. There you go. There you go. Okay. Final fight. Um, yep. Yep. That's fine. Uh, let's go. I said let's go. Okay, final mission. Let's see. Unfortunately, these two are hateful to each other. These respect each other. They are envious of each other. And they are respectful of each other. Lovely. So, the negative afflictions can hurt me quite badly. Since they, it can alter the move sets that I have given them. So I am just going to quickly check what moves you have equipped. You still have point blank shot equipped? Great. You still have, uh, eh, let's, let's change that out. Uh, let's give you the 
Ica bomb. Let's give you the that. I do want that. Yeah, that should be fine. Don't care for that. Eh, maybe we'll care for that. We'll see. Let's see what other trinkets. Nah, nothing's. Nothing else is useful. All right. Final two fights. So just depending on how long these how these fights go, we'll see. We'll see. Um, cool. So unfortunately, one of the negative buffs are on my um, <laughs> are on the uh, really good point blank shot move I got. So I want to use point blank shot not that much this <laughs> uh, mission, unfortunately. But that's fine. I can make do. I at least eliminated one from the turn order before we were able to continue. We of course do want to eliminate them from the turn order before they act so they don't waste time in actually attacking us, obviously. Okay, let's use point blank shot a little bit to actually speed us along. And yeah, sure, let's just eliminate you from existence. Uh, <laughs> Finish you down to death's blow, and then hopefully you should die within the next two hits. Lovely. Done and done. So, final, uh, that's the final section. In this final journey, we actually don't get any loot, but we're now going towards the mountain. So, host, what do you think the final boss will be? Runner, I have no idea. Give it a good guess. I'll tell you, it's a human body part. It's a human body part. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In the interest of keeping this PG-13, I'm going to say, like, a giant arm. Yeah? Slash fist. You, give, you guess that? Okay. What do you guess? Okay, an eye. Eye. It's a brain! Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And various chains that are uh, attached to it. Cool, we got very good RNG for the first, uh, <laughs> for the first turn. Um, because the gimmick of this fight is that each uh, each of these enemies will um, debuff me. Uh, the debuff each round disables one of the cl uh, one of the few classes of moves. Um, the class that we are worried about is ranged attacks. Since a lot of our initial attacks are ranged, we like to deal lots of blight early on to just get uh, get that out of the way. Um, luckily, we've basically demolished one target down to two turns left remaining so we'll be able to just yeah this fight's going insanely well yeah we're, we're probably gonna go five minutes under that's fine well not five minutes under obviously i've still got a minute at least but you know yeah you know, you know, you know, yeah yeah <laughs> um cool like uh i basically so they're denying physical weapons this time that's fine it's a little bit unfortunate but um we can make do should we say especially since the majority of the attacks we do are ranged and so it works out fine for us unfortunately the Hellion has no other moves other than melee so uh, they're a bit stuck for choice right there they die on their turn when one of them dies all of them get a slight buff that can be a healing attack which can knock off my cycles a little bit but oh 20 health Oof, ouchie uh, luckily, these two are basically on death's door. <laughs> um, we did various things like increase our stun resist. This fight can be really bad if they uh, take if they stun you. They can basically stun lock you into uh, taking a bunch of damage over and over again. Um, luckily, yeah. Okay, see, there's the, there's the heal. Um, let's let's do th let's do this. Let's do that. There you go. I could have healed. However, I could have increased the damage instead. There we go. So you're, you're taking 16 on your next turn. And you have 26 health. Cool. You're on 10 health left. One of my characters is on death's door. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully you don't die. We can't use uh, physical strikes. Um, that should be fine. I'm using ranged anyway. Kills that one off. Lesson let's see if you die. Lesson you don't. Good. And let's nuke him. Time. Sorry. Yay. So this game has taken over five chapters where uh, you're defeating various elements of yourself. This first step was denial. But you'll have to face various other things like uh, cowardice, which is the last one. 
Uh, yeah, various other things with increasing difficulty throughout. And then the journey continues and we're back where we left off. We then upgrade various things that could do a next run onwards from that. But that's it for me now. Uh, I hope... Well, we can just get Kyo going. I'm Tricro. See you at the end of the marathon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tricro. Fantastic run of Darkest Dungeon 2 there. I wouldn't have guessed Brain, to be honest. Ah, oh, this boss. is a love. This is an Eldritch Lovecraftian game, of course. <laughs> 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 uh, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Do stick around. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Easy for me to say. There. Do stick around, everyone. Coming up next, we have Christian Royal, who's going to be running. Here comes Nico. See you all shortly. Uh...